Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and welcome to another Boom Wooja review. And today we take a look at the, at the deluxe Boom Boom Police set from Bakuake Sentai Boom Boom Jer. This is the first set of auxiliary Boom Boom cars that can be combined with Boom Boom Jerobo. And if you own the Boom Boom Changer, this, these, will, these will make additional sounds. So, let's take a look at, we have Boom Boom Patrol Car 1, and we have Boom Boom Patrol Car 2. So, yeah. Now, if you want to go with the Japanese term, they use, they use Pato which is actually part of, which is actually the official one. But this is actually called Boom Moon Pato Car 1. This one is Pato Car 2. So I'm assuming Pato is an abbreviation for, or just the abbreviation form of patrol. So, yeah. So we'll take a look at, this is, we'll take a look at um, <clears throat> Pato Car 1. You can tell is a police cruiser. And of course, both of these are piloted by Boom Black, so who is also a police officer. Um, got a nice... So it's all black. We've got some white paint on the side here. And we've got some we got some metallic blue and red. Well, metallic red and blue for the siren. So neat. Here's the here's the rail system, and there's the pins right there. Now there's there's a fifth wheel on here, which I'll explain why that is when we get to the attack mode for this thing. So yeah. Next we have Boom Boom Patakar 2, which is designed to add a SWAT vehicle. So nice boxy armored vehicle. Done in purple with some white stripes on the side. And of course, we've got the red siren up on the top. And of course, here's the undercarriage. We've got the rail system in the back on, on the bottom, I should say. Now, we'll get to, now this thing doesn't do anything on its own, but we'll get to the attack mode once we bring in the gate mode, which, and also this little slot right here, which I will explain that later. So let's bring in the Boom Moon trailer in its gate mode. So here's Boom Moon trailer prepped up in its gate mode. And we'll take a look at the attack modes. So we'll start with is Pato Car 1. So slide back here and push this forward. And here's the attack mode of Pato Car 1. You can see he's pretty much a rolling claw or clamp weapon. So you see we've got the spikes here in the middle. And of course we've got some spikes on the inside of the car. There's three here and there's three over here. So yeah. So we can just roll like that. And which this is obviously the yeah, and this explains why there's a there's a fifth wheel on there. So yeah, now put that to the side, and then we'll bring in Patakar two. Now the attack mode for this one is a bit subtle. What it does, it it flips the front bumper over to become a pair of cans. So yeah, a bit subtle, but these will make sense once we, once we get to the combination, which we'll get to right now. So now from this point on, I'm going to cut here and. Um, put this guy into its robot mode. So, we'll, so we're going to do that from, the, from this point on. Because if you want to see the transformation of, the, of this to robot mode, look at my Boom Ranger Robo review. So, yeah. So let's cut here. All right. So before we attach Patagar ones, Patagars one and two onto this guy, we have to prep this guy. So, take the top of the head, fold it to the side, and fold this bit back onto the side as well. Then flip this all the way back, and there you're done. And you're done. Next, we'll take Patrick R1 and flip this panel down. This will reveal the face and fold this bit down, become a police hat. So it'll slide into this cavity here and it'll snap into place. Then take Patrick R2 and you're going to split this vertically like this. And take this one, I'll take the one I'm holding, flip this, flip this up, fold this up upside down, and flip out this handle. And there you have a pistol. Same with the other one. So Pull this one down, pull it upside down, pull out the handle, and there I have a gun. So, and I put it into its hands, like so. So, okay. <clears throat> and there you have Boom Moonger Robo Police. So, yeah, pretty neat. Um, it's basically just we well, can take a look at the head. Um, First, so it does retain the Boom Ranger robot head face, but um, it's got, of course, a police hat up top with spikes on them. So, yep. You know. Um, and of course, we've got the pistols here. Which now I like to put the pistols where the um, this gold paint is facing out because the, this kind of looks like look like a, um, a revolver's um, hammer. So, if you look at it, so yeah, so yeah, pretty neat. No. Now, remember I said there was actually a slot on top of, I think it was, no, not this one. Um, this one here, this one. Well, because 
if you look at the side of the legs, there's actually these um these connectors basically, which these are rotated. These are actually um rotatable. You can actually holster the pistols. So you could slide it this one on here, and you could slide the other one on here. So just like that, which is pretty convenient. Um, so yeah, pretty neat. Or now if you want to use your imagination, you can actually fold these forward, become leg cannons, if you so desire. So if you want to, so. So overall, the, the, the DX Boom Boom, the Deluxe Boom Boom Police set is highly recommended if you're a fan of Boom Black, Boom Booncher, and if, you're, if, you're, and if you want to collect Boom Boom cars. Um, a lot of fun, um, especially if Boom Booncher Robo with you. And of course, like I said before, you can get more sounds out of the Boom Boom Charger when you insert these two cars into that thing. Or even the Boom Boom Booster Axe. Um, so, which is, you know, which is, of course, you know, that's... Boom Orange and Boom Black's uh, weapon, the Boom Booger Booster Ask, Ask, um, Axe, sorry. The, um, so, yeah. So, that's pretty much all I got to say about this thing. So, tune in next time. I'm going to take a look at the Deluxe Boom Moon Builder set. So, thanks for watching. Like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter slash X and like my Facebook page, links in the description. So, I will catch you next time.